children we have seen first two laws of chemical combination we saw about law of conservation of mass law of constant proportion who proposed law of conservation of mass anton lavoisier who proposed law of constant proportion joseph proust coming to the third law that is law of multiple proportion this law was proposed by the scientist john dalton what does this law suggest this law suggests that when two elements combine to form more than two compounds they combine in such a way such that they bear a simple ratio one element will be having a fixed ratio provided the other element will be differing in the mass i am repeating what is law of multiple proportion when two elements combine to give you two or more than two compounds here the compounds are formed will be bearing a simple ratio the composition of one element is fixed while the composition of the other element is differing i am going to tell you an example for law of multiple proportion carbon combines with oxygen to give you two compounds it can be carbon monoxide or it can be carbon dioxide for carbon monoxide what you, you should do 12 parts of carbon that is carbon's weight 1 carbon plus 16 parts of oxygen 2 into 16 right so 12 parts of carbon and 16 parts of oxygen when combined i'll be getting the product as carbon monoxide done now what about carbon dioxide 12 parts of carbon and 32 parts of oxygen when they combine i'll be getting the product as carbon dioxide so to get the product carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide i am keeping the carbon's proportion as fixed okay the proportion of carbon is fixed it is 12 only but what happens to the proportion of oxygen it is differing in first case i have got 16 parts in the second case i have got 32 parts so who is fixed here carbon is fixed here while my oxygen is differing here so they are bearing a simple ratio what is that simple ratio if i am going to keep carbon as fixed and i am going to differ the composition of oxygen with the 16 is to 32 then it will be 1 is to 2 proportion so they have got a simple ratio provided concentration of one element is fixed and the composition of other element will be differing here the differing composition is oxygen and which is the fixed composition carbon is a fixed composition and the differing element here will be your oxygen here the differing element will be your oxygen okay so we have seen the third law that is law of multiple proportion what is the fourth law fourth law is gay lussac's law of combining volumes what is the fourth law it is gay lussac's law of combining volumes what does this law suggest this law suggests that gases react correct gases react with each other when they react they do so that they react in volumes and they bear a simple ratio at same temperature and pressure so what is gay lussac's law of equal volumes gases combine with each other when they combine with each other they do so because they are combining in volumes provided the condition of temperature and pressure should be same for that i'm going to give you an example say for example hydrogen gas is combining with chlorine gas to give my compound hcl see this combination the hydrogen combining with chlorine combination happens at same temperature and pressure who proposed this law from the name itself we can derive gay lussac is a scientist who proposed the gay lussac's law of combining volumes his name was kept for the law okay now moving to the four, uh, fifth law that is avogadro's law what is fifth law it is avogadro's law what is this law suggest equal volume of all gases at same temperature and pressure contain equal number of volumes now i am going to have equal volume of all gases let it be hydrogen ion argon or anything so equal volume of all these gases should be maintained at same temperature and pressure what i am going to call if i am going to maintain standard condition for temperature and pressure i am going to call that as stp which we have discussed in the previous session 
standard condition of temperature 273 kelvin standard condition of pressure will be one atmospheric pressure so under standard conditions of temperature and pressure they will be containing equal number of molecules what number of molecules they should have they should have 6.022 into 10 power 23 number of molecules what is that molecules called as it is nothing but your avogadro number which you might have studied in class 9 so what is avogadro's law equal volume of all gases should contain equal number of molecules what is it equal number of molecules it is 6.022 into 10 power 23 when you will be when they will be containing equal number of molecules when there is a stp condition what is that stp condition that stp condition is nothing but standard temperature and the pressure while standard temperature is 273 and standard pressure is one atmospheric pressure moving to the last law that is dalton's atomic theory what is the last law it is dalton's atomic theory as the name suggests the atomic theory was named after the scientist john dalton so it is called as dalton's atomic theory what are the postulates of dalton's atomic theory this is an important question so what is the postulates of dalton's atomic theory matter is composed of atoms atoms are indivisible we know what is the first postulate matter is composed of atoms and atoms are indivisible and when you see atoms of same element they have same properties atoms of same element have same properties while atoms of different elements they have different property atoms of different elements have different properties now when different element combine in a fixed ratio i'll be getting compounds when different elements combine in a varying ratio i'll be getting mixtures now atoms can either be destroyed nor be produced they can either be created nor be destroyed and how chemical reactions are possible chemical reactions are possible when we reorganize atoms when we reorganize atoms we will be getting chemical reaction so in today's session we have seen laws of chemical combination we have seen law of conservation of mass we saw law of constant proportion law of multiple proportion gay lussac's law of equal volumes then avogadro's law then dalton's atomic theory so in the next session we will be seeing the remaining topics thank you children